first vibe down in here and basically what I want to go over right now are advanced troubleshooting Linux commands um, that you guys will need to know and how to execute these commands um, while you're on a Linux terminal. So one thing you want to do of course with troubleshooting, you the first step you want to do is definitely um, gather your information. Once all the information is gathered, um, you would definitely want to move to step two, which would be um, looking into the uh, targeted server that's having an issue. Um, once you go inside that server, you authenticate in, you log in the server. What you want to do is look at your um, system.out log file and your system.error log file. Now guys, these are two important um, system files um, that you're going to want to look at. For one, they show you um, what, the, what type of output your system is putting out. And it captures that in these uh, things called log files, which is basically a, a text file. And it's a, a growing document, so whatever happens on with the application itself, it will uh, be added to that log as an entry for what's going on with the application as it's uh, running live on the server. Another um, log file, as I spoke of, is the system.error. Now that's important because that log file is going to be the log file that actually helps you um, troubleshoot, troubleshoot and find out what exactly happened on that system. For example, um, there was an incident uh, one time I was working at uh, the software company and um, we pretty much was experiencing some latency with our, our uh, servers, which is basically slow response times. Um, so, of course, I went into gathered that information, gathered uh, around what time, who was all being impacted, what clients were being impacted, uh, what uh, data centers were um, having the problem servers at. So once I gathered that information, the next thing I did, of course, that I spoke of, I went inside the server, I looked at the system.error log file, as well as the system.out log file. Um, and from there, I seen that um, there were some exceptions being shown in the log file. And the exceptions were pretty much uh, uh, no pointer exceptions um, that we receive. Uh, pretty much uh, disk space was full. So, but we received that error and also we had a no pointer exception as well.